Hey everyone, we were in this park about two, three years ago looking at a nasty sewage leak that's going into the stream that goes through the park. I know a lot of people play in that stream in the summertime and that was a concern when we reported it to the DOT a few years ago. We're going to see if there's a problem still going on. What I believe happened a few years ago is most areas around here have dated sewage systems combine sewage with the storm water. If there's heavy rain outside, they just automatically dump everything into the local waterway with the rainwater. That's how it works, they use the same pipes. But I believe something's broken with their system so it's constantly releasing out of this pipe, which is right in this overgrowth. And it goes down, there's a stream at the bottom of the hill, which is pretty big. I'm hoping I don't have to walk into any water to see it, but I got my big tall boots on just in case. We walked through the sewage a couple years ago. Just made sure to rinse off before getting back to the car. Okay, here's the pipe right here. Hopefully there's not too many ticks in this area. I have yet to see any ticks this year. Huh. It appears to be running clean. Big shocker. Or maybe it just got flushed because there was a ton of rain yesterday. We're gonna go downstream and look for evidence of this still going on. The entire riverbed was gray. It was so gross a few years back. That video will be linked in the description. Trying to see if I can see from up above. Yeah, this water looks like it's coming out nice and clean. I don't see anything dirty about it. We're gonna go downstream to see if we can still see any de evidence of this sewage leak. All right, this looks like the less dense area. I'm trying to find a area somewhere where I can get in there and look around. Here we go, there's an actual trail. These pricker bushes are massive. Don't want to get stuck up in some of these. This is also that place where that deer skeleton was. A hunter must have threw it down here when they were done. Or it just got thrown down here after it was hit on the road. I doubt that's still there. Animals probably chewed that down for the calcium value. Yeah, this place looks really clean. I'm amazed. Just take a look at this. You see that nasty slime growing? They actually fixed it. When we came here a few years ago, this entire thing was this gray sludge building up over the years because it was such an ongoing problem. It is still a slim possibility. Yesterday's storm just washed away all evidence of it, but I don't think so. Last time it reeked here. And this is kind of cool. Look at this old farm machinery here. Something old. Does anyone know exactly what that could be? Maybe to turn up the ground. A few years ago, I may have thought it was a part of a giant snowblower. I'm even trying to walk slowly because I don't want to splash this on me. I might have to leave because this is becoming dense with pricker bushes. But that doesn't look to be true at all. Right here we have a horseshoe, some other kind of tool. Very fascinating. I believe there's a lot of other things like this down here. Yep, look at this, another giant metal piece. This water is very, very clean. Right here it looks like we have a gigantic air tank. That's what that is, similar to what they have on a really old steam train. Many more horseshoes. That's awesome. Right here we have a piece of a clay pipe. A couple more metal objects. Beautiful moss coming down here. And you see right up ahead is the larger stream 
that we're coming up to. This little tiny stream was trickling less than you see today when we came here to visit when it was all polluted. But yet it had the potency to still be smelled far downstream after mixing with the larger river. That's how potent this was. It was extremely nasty. But here we are down to the stream. And yes, the Department of Public Works did appear to fix this. Here's a shocking amount of knotweed down here too. This is all Japanese knotweed, a similar plant to bamboo. Super invasive, it's so thick it blocks sunlight, no seedlings can grow. So as soon as these big mature trees fall down, the forest is dead. Really bad plant. And take a look at these sewer structures right here in the river. Tons of erosion around them. Probably deeper underground, there's some sewage pipe here. Wouldn't be surprised if these things occasionally leak too. I can't hear anything in there. But we're gonna make our way back out of here. Look at this. April 11th. Massachusetts is finally starting to get a few leaves. Thanks for watching everybody. Hope this video was interesting. Smells absolutely disgusting. It smells like a sewage treatment plant. Just take a look at this. You see that nasty slime growing? This is sewage water, wherever this is coming from. It's mixed with tons and tons of sewage. Just look at the erosion on the sides of this. You can tell that the water rages here occasionally.